Hello everyone, welcome to LearningX. In this video, I have come with a new sales analysis dashboard focused on FMCG with some attractive charts and modern dashboard designing. Very simple method has been used here, so anyone can make it. I will cover the dashboard in two parts. In the first part, I will show this map chart, this attractive line chart with monthly trend lines, this line chart with product photo and overall dashboard designing with slicer. In the second part, I will show this picture changing maneuver and how to connect it with the dashboard plus this regular analysis. So let's start. Firstly, make a closer look at the dashboard. Here are the charts showing all products revenue on a yearly basis. If I change the year, the revenue for that products is also changing. Then look at these charts. It's showing yearly sales trend line for a specific product and a specific year. If I change the product name, it will show that product sales trend line. We can also check it for a specific year. Then check this one. This map chart is showing sales for a region. Example, it's showing the sales of this product in this region. And if I change the year, it will show the sales for that year on the map. Then we will make some regular analysis like max sales, minimum sales, average sales, etc. for a specific product and year. We will work with this data set. Here we have sales ID, date, product name, revenue by that product, sales location and way of sales. Now we will make a pivot table with this data table. Rename the sheet and create another sheet named dashboard. Now give date in rows. Select this year. Go to analyze. Select this group selection. Uncheck quarter and click OK. Now give total revenue in values, product name and year in filter. Now copy this month and paste it here. Give another row as sales. Use VLOOKUP to bring the data from that pivot table. Now click on the pivot table and bring two slicer, production name and year. Go to slicer setting, click hide items with no data. Now insert a line chart from this data and move the chart to dashboard. This is our monthly sales trend chart. Then copy this pivot table, paste it here. Remove the date from rows and give location. Now copy this and paste it here. Bring the data from pivot table using VLOOKUP. Insert map chart, remove title and series. And move to dashboard page. Then again copy this pivot table and paste it here. Go to field list. This time remove location from rows and give product name. Keep years in the filter. 
insert a line chart go be to dashboard now right click on the product slicer and uncheck the pivot table 3 or the last pivot table that we have created because for last pivot table I want to show them all even I use filter now move the slicer to dashboard go to analyze space again type max sales and lowest sales use max formula to find the max and mean formula to find the lowest value from that cells also make a calculation for average cells now our analysis part is done now we will go for our dashboard designing part insert a shape and place it here give no outline format shape give a gradient fill combining this red and this color give a shadow effect bring another shape give no outline and give this light gray color as fill send it to back and give outer shadow effect Now change the theme of the slicer, increase the column number till it's come to one line. Place it in the below side, resize it. Now check this chart, hide all field buttons, remove titles, axis, grid lines and legend. Now I will copy this. And resize it here. Now copy the product photo one by one and place it with the respective dot in the line chart. Now add data levels and change the level shape to this. Change the color. And format the code to show it in million. Label position to above. And remove the axis.
Now we'll go for this chart. Give no fill, no outline. Select the series. Border line, give this gradient line with this two color and I will increase the width, change the label position to right. and show it in million. Then select this map chart, give no fill and no outline. Right click format series color, give this two color series. Now give titles to all the charts. But for the yearly trend, copy the shape twice and connect it the product name. Do the same for map chart. Now insert some icons and paste it here in the charts. Copy this shape and place it here. This is all for this part. Check out the next part to watch picture changing maneuver and other analysis. I hope you have enjoyed the video, give your opinion about the dashboard in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe our channel, thank you.